limiting beliefs and how do we form limiting beliefs hi guys my name is lena semenek and this is my youtube channel psychology of happiness welcome on this channel i teach you about money health success happiness uh, relationships uh, self-esteem fears anxieties and all other topics that will help you to become happier and more successful in life. Today we're going to talk about limiting beliefs. I will share with you the roots of the problems. Like before we deal with our limiting beliefs, it's good to know how do we form them. Because when we realize that our limiting belief came from our grandmother, for example, we can you know, just by realizing it, we can understand that we, maybe for her it was useful, but for us it is not. And we can let go of our limiting belief just by understanding that it's not our belief. So there are three main sources where we get our limiting beliefs. The first one is from our parents. We just copy our parents without even considering if it's true or not, if it's working for us or not, if it's something that can help us or can break us. So when we grow up, we copied all our parents' limiting beliefs. It can be parents, it can be other significant adult who took care of us for many, many years. So for example, if your mom used to say, we are not poor, but at least, but at least we are honest, you copy this belief that if you are honest, you can't make more money. If your mom used to say uh, you can't trust people, uh, then you just copy this belief without maybe in your life when you went to school, when you went to some activities, you had great, great friends, but your mom used to say that you can't trust people, you can trust only yourself, you can't rely on people, you will copy this belief, although in your experience it was completely different. So uh, the best way to catch these type of beliefs is just to take a notebook and write down my mom used to say. And anything that comes to your mind, write down. If you want to narrow this, uh, let's say you want to catch all your limiting beliefs about relationships then you can write uh, my mom used to say that relationship is or my mom used to say uh, that in love you are you should be careful you should be alert you can trust your partner you should rely on yourself love brings struggles love is not easy in relationships you always have to sacrifice so write down anything that comes to your mind the second uh, source how we form limiting beliefs is from our own experience. Let's say uh, maybe when you were in uh, middle school, you fall in love with a boy who did not have the same feelings towards you. Uh, maybe you told the boy that you love, that you like him. Maybe you tried to make friends with this boy, but he ignored you. He maybe laughed at you and you form this limiting belief that love brings sadness or if I love somebody, it's not reciprocal. If I love somebody, I have to sacrifice. So from your personal experience, you might have it only one time in your life, but it, if it was emotional to you and if it was in your childhood, then uh, it's possible that you could not process the information. You could not process the pain. Maybe you did not have anybody to talk to about your pain and you form this believe that I cannot be happy in love. Uh, another example, let's say maybe your parents gave you money and uh, you were supposed to go to the store and buy something, but you lost that money. Maybe you bought something else. So you form a limiting belief that says I cannot manage money, money well, money and me cannot be together. I am a loser when it comes to money. 
So uh, in order for you to catch or to find this type of limiting beliefs, again, take a notebook and write down maybe some painful events in your childhood or some emotional events in your childhood and try to, to see uh, what did you learn from these events. And possibly you will find some negative beliefs that you form at that age. And the third source of limiting beliefs is experience from previous generations. So it's not your parents, but it might be from your grandmother. So the family stories. Um, for example, in my life, I've heard many times the story about my great grandmother who sold her house because she, I don't even remember why she sold her house, but she sold her house and she uh, had the money. It was actual money at that time. They didn't have credit cards. They didn't have bank accounts. So it was actual money. And she was um, going somewhere with this money and she was robbed. So she was left without money and without the house. In my family, the belief was that the money is something that you can lose easily. You have to be very, very careful with the money. You have to save. You cannot, uh, you cannot waste money. You cannot, you know, buy things that you enjoy. You have to spend money only for things that are absolutely necessary. Because one day you might uh, lose the money. And if you don't buy things that, you know, you just absolutely have to have, then you're going to lose everything. The funny thing is when I was working on my personal um, limiting beliefs about money, I realized that uh, when I go to the store and let's say I like two things, I like maybe um, two sweaters, I will think, do I really need two sweaters? Like, no, I'm not going to wear two sweaters. Probably I'm okay with one and I will buy myself just one sweater. Although the other sweater might be not even expensive, uh, but for me, it's like, why do I need two? I, I, one is enough. So sometimes we have limiting beliefs that create some crazy patterns in our life and stopping us from, you know, achieving more things. So, so limiting beliefs based on our family history, the stories that we heard usually, again, in our childhood, that... Uh, put some fears in us and we created our behavior, our actions based on those fears. And because we created these patterns in our childhood, then when we think about them being an adult, it sounds awkward, it sounds silly, it sounds crazy. But uh, when we were children, it was real. So again, if you want to find or to dig, to discover these limiting beliefs, you need to think about family stories, uh, stories that you've been told when you were little, um, anyone, your aunt, your grandma, you know, your mother, your father. So stories that came from generations before you. And um, the best way and the easiest way to catch your limiting beliefs is to find a professional person, a coach, a life coach, a therapist, and um, talk to your therapist. Because sometimes uh, it's extremely hard to catch these limiting beliefs. Beliefs is something that's obvious for us. It's like we know that it's true and uh, that's why it's so hard to catch them. That's why they're limiting because we can't really see uh, see them we can't really comprehend them that's why uh, it's hard to work on your limiting beliefs on your own of course i invite you to my private sessions to my group sessions and to my online courses all the links will be below the video if this video was helpful please give me like and if you're ready for a deeper work welcome to my private sessions and my group sessions if this video was helpful, please give me like and share it with your friends and family. Please help me to help you and other people and create more videos like this. It really, really matters for me when I see your comments, when you write your thoughts, when you write your questions, and when you send my videos to your friends and family. So please help me to promote my channel. I'm looking forward to that and I'm saying thank you in advance. Thank you for watching.
See you next time. Bye.